Hey guys, Jay Numi here. Welcome back to the final episode of The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. But before we get into our fight with Malifor, um, as I said in Monday's video of New Super Mario Bros. Wii, um, it was only, it's only a temporary fix. I just wanted to get a video, a New Super Mario Bros. Wii video out there so you guys wouldn't think that I had completely forgotten about it. Um, and I want to say that I have, after, after this, um, I have a lot of pre-recorded videos that I recorded before this whole mishap started with the computer and everything. Um, I have the rest of New Super Mario Bros. Wii recorded. Plus all of Mario, Mario Kart Wii, which is only like 10 videos, but I still have all of that. And so I was planning on just releasing those every couple weeks and not actually do any playing, every, you know, not doing any gaming until I was done uploading those um, pre-recorded videos. But now with everything going on with the computer and... Um, Hi, dog. <laughs> and, uh, I just figured we could do LEGO Lord of the Rings after this and occasionally upload, um, pre-recorded videos. So, but enough of that. Without further ado, let's get into our final video. The final battle with Malifor. <laughs> I love that picture so much. I can make a wallpaper out of that. Or, like, a desktop wallpaper. for this? No. I'm scared. Just stay close to me. At long last, my guests have arrived. Such determination to come here. It seems we share other qualities besides that of our honor. No, I'm nothing like you. Do you think so? <laughs> Don't listen to him, Spyro. Don't listen to anything he says. You used her. I used her. She used you. What does it matter to me? What does he mean? They, um, I love how they, hold on. What? This is getting interesting. You're lying. How does a 
truly terrifying laugh. I would hate to hear that in my dreams. Because you've left me nothing to fight for. Oh, it's, it's, it's sad. And, of course, she turns back. There's always something. heck of a cutscene. Okay, so what I was gonna say before is that I love how, and I've seen other, you know, people do this, like, with characters and mainly bad guys and stuff in movies, how they, like, take the voice and they kind of merge it together, like, with itself, so it sounds like it's two separate people talking, like, almost in sync, you know? So, like, you hear one, and then you hear one version of the person's voice, and then a little later you hear the other. And it just, it sound it mixes together so well. It makes them sound just that much more evil. And I love that. But okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, Fury. Go. Okay, not bad. Cinder. What does the comet dash do then? It didn't work. So let's save up for the comet dash and see what that does. Okay. Come on. <laughs> right in the head! Ah. Okay, so. Ah. Stop running! Whoa! Jeez, what the heck was that? Holy crap! Okay, okay wow. So, Comet Dash does a lot to him. Seems like fire, seems like fire is the most effective. If this is anything like the battle with Gaul, then I'm guessing there's going to be three parts. Ah! Comet Dash. Ow. Ah. Oh dear. Oh great, quick time. No, I don't know how fast you need to be. Ooh, dang! Wow. That was impressive. Hello? It's, it's the calm before the storm. Okay. Can we, can we proceed, please? Ah, there we go. I don't want it to begin! Oh, that. You mean that, okay. Oh, dear. Well, I don't want that to begin either. Yeah, you're too late, just like last time. You got a, you got a terrible habit of being too late to save the world. Oh, dear. That, okay, that looks cool. Oh. So 
so I'm guessing everything within about a hundred mile radius of that would be pretty much incinerated, judging from what I just saw on the planet. <laughs> oh cool, we can we can get behind him, you can't... Cinder, you take over, I'm almost dead. Now she's almost, never mind. Okay, that looks dangerous, let's stay away. Oh my god. And now I see why. Holy crap, that was like instant kill. I mean, even though my health was like halfway, but still, wow. Okay then. My health is still like halfway. There you go, give me that health. I need it. I can't even see where he is. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yes. No, I hate this. Ow. Why do you have to use this? Well, I kind of. I'm using the same move too, so. I guess that's kind of like being a hypocrite. There you go. Oh, dear. There you go, come on. Whoa, Cinder, take over. Holy crap, oh dear. Get away from that. Where am I? I don't even see myself. Oh dear. Oh dear, I'm on the ground. Let's get off. Yes! Okay. Let's just not mess this up now. Oh, jeez. That came on a bit suddenly. Holy crap! Dang, this is intense! I love this! And now we're going into the volcano. That's great. More quiet before the storm. The final storm. The perfect storm. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, come on. Hurry up. It's building the anticipation. That's what that's what it was doing. Whoa! Whoa! What the Can I can I He's like a giant crystal! Giant fear crystal! Is he even hitting? Oh my god, this is like a giant. Yay! Okay, let's get it. Get it. No! Oh my god, dude! Oh, what have you done to me? Okay, let's finish this. Once and for all.
Get it up there. Come on. Fill, 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 fill. Yes. Rain down all hell upon him. Where is he? Get him. Get him. Get him. Please don't die. Yes. Woo. I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of, um... Oh, crap. Yeah, exactly. Oh, dear. Oh my god! Oh god! Okay. Oh dear. Holy crap! We did it! We completed the game! Yes! Oh dear. Just hang on. Oh dear. Yeah, there you go. What? things. We have like ghosts of people carrying down to the underworld or something. I love the cliche moments. Dang. That's destruction there. Spiral, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's over. So this is it? This world. His spirit lives on, binding itself with nature, offering hope for the future. I know what I need to do. Oh, is he gonna sacrifice himself? Clara, oh, no. You don't have to do anything. Let's just go. Where, Cinder? There'll be nothing left. The world is breaking apart. But I think I can stop it. I think I meant to. And I'm with you. Died so many times before just to die now. I love you. Oh. That's nice. Oh my god, what happened to the planet? Jeez. It's like it got hit by like a mini Death Star. Oh. I see now. It's a, it's a Skylands. I see. Oh, it's right. There's sparks all along. There's another Spyro died. Okay, that's cool. Wow, that's that's cool. Dang, that was holy crap. That was intense. I'm just gonna say that was one hell of a game. Wow. Oh wow, there was an actual guy named Cyril that worked on this, that's funny. Considering that one of the dragons was named Cyril. But wow! I'm just gonna keep the credits rolling because this was such an amazing game. But wow, again. That was... I, that's probably one of the best games I think I've ever played. Dang. I mean, such great, great storyline and a great, um... Great storyline and a great like great way that they connected all the levels together to form like a story with an amazing ending, a sacrifice at the end, which I didn't really see coming. And kind of like a whole secret love story the entire time. Um and the cutscenes were good. That though that cutscene before the fight with Malifaux was probably 
the best was probably my favorite one out of the entire game. Because there was this whole feeling of, like, peril, like, okay, he kind of turned Cinder back evil, so how's, how's she going to come back to help Sparrow fight? Or is, you know, he going to have to do this on his own? Or how is, you know, there is that, that whole sense of peril and the kind of backstory that we don't really know if Malifor was lying about there being more than one purple dragon. And it was cool how they kind of made it, like, one of those, another cliche where it was, like, the main character... I guess unintentionally completes the main villain's original task. And that's cool. Oh, that's right, the cast. I know there are a couple voices that I recognized, or that I felt like I recognized. And so I want to see who. I have to wait for that to come around. But, um, yeah, amazing game. Last game, last Spyro game was good too. Okay, here we go. Elijah Wood. Whoa! Hold on, hold on. How do I pause? Where? Um, no. Okay, okay, there's one. Sparks, if you can see through that. Um, Wayne Brady. If you don't... If some of you don't know that, I know him from... Um, Whose Line Is It Anyway? I watch that pretty much every night. Okay, yeah. Now that I think about it, that did sound like him. Um, okay, who else? What? Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Mark Hamill played Malifor. Are you serious? Like Mark Hamill, like the guy that played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. He played Malifor? Oh my god. Holy crap, that's amazing. Wow. That's just... Wow, I never would have guessed. They they really played with his voice there. Wow. I, di I didn't even hear any hint of... You know, I wasn't looking, I wasn't listening for it, but... I mean, I'm, I'm such a hardcore Star Wars fan, I, I would know. I would recognize his voice. But wow, okay, that was... That was cool, that's cool. He does a good job as a as a villain. I think he did he did play Alvin the Treacherous in the Dragons Riders and Defenders of Burke. He did do that, so and they played with his voice there a little bit too. But wow, he either way he does good villains. Okay, who else? Chronicler. Okay, so that wasn't Gandalf, the uh, Chronicler. Uh, oh wow. Um The Mason Hold on. The Mason... I kind of stopped it above, do you want to skip cutscene? The Mason was Corey Burton, and I think that that was Count Dooku in The Clone Wars. Um, hmm. If I remember correctly. But, wow, okay, so that's it. Um, I don't know, I'm going to wait until there is... Until after, I just want to see... I'm going to pause the video, but... Um, I'm going to pause the video and just wait and see if there's a, um, post-credit scene. Um, so, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, but first, um, definitely, um, there's some people here, people that actually got this out, the promoters, promotions, whatever, the director, manager... Uh, up on top, you might have seen. Yeah, there's some. Um, you put it. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people obviously worked on this, and they did a good job. But okay, um, I'll see you guys um, later. After, if we get to a post credit scene, I think there is one. There was one last time. And then of course we got to go through the special thanks, because. They're there for a reason, so whatever these people did, obviously we um, deserve special recommendation. Uh, wow. Thank you to all the Spyro fans who have helped to support our favorite purple dragon for the last 10 years. Wow. Could I have done this without your encouragement? Wow, yeah, it was my, my pleasure to play this game. This was amazing. Wow. 
Uh, okay, hold on. Yep, okay, post credit scene. Oh, the Chronicler! This little giant... This giant thing. You're welcome, friend. Giant hourglass. I have long been expecting you. A new age is beginning. With each new age, a worthy dragon is chosen to chronicle the many triumphs and failures of that age. This has been my duty for many millennia. And now, ignite us. Oh! I pass this on to you. And what of Spire? That's all I can say is wow. It's such an amazing game. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time.